it's just yet another year that goes by that New Jersey Transit is not receiving the funding that it deserves and that it needs to provide this vital service to New Jersey. Advocates fumed as Trenton's Democratic trifecta yet again appears poised to punt on NJ Transit funding in the new state budget. In a year where Jersey's awash in surplus billions, the agency will still lack a stable funding source to keep the wheels turning, and a fiscal cliff looms if pre-pandemic ridership doesn't rebound. Worst case scenario? This could mean substantial fare increases um, soon or even budget cuts. I was really kind of blindsided. Uh, by this. Longtime transit booster and retiring Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg's dismay her fellow Democrats could ditch this rare opportunity to fix a broken system and throw transit a lifeline. Am I disappointed that I wasn't successful in this? Yes. Did I take it a little bit personally? I have to admit, yes, I did. But I think of it in terms of thousands of people who must depend upon public transportation to get to and from their jobs. NJ Transit's gradually restoring service, trying to lure commuters back aboard after the pandemic persuaded many passengers to work from home. The agency will get a $2 billion windfall in federal aid to help defray COVID-related costs, but it must again rely on rider fares to cover about half its operating expenses, and that's rolling budget dice. Ridership for transit is not, it's recovering, but it's not, bouncing back to where it was pre-pandemic. And that's going to lead to future budget problems for the agency. At some point, the federal recovery dollars are going to run out. Meanwhile, NJ Transit's $2.6 billion state budget appropriation still robs Peter to pay Paul by transferring $360 million from its own capital account and redirecting $82 million from a fund intended for clean energy projects. Critics have long contended this is no way to run a railroad. So this is a huge missed opportunity to lock in stable funding sources for New Jersey Transit. We're continuing continuing to rely on the annual political budget process to fund such a vital service year in and year out. Yearly budget transfers have siphoned some $10 billion from NJ Transit's capital fund, starving projects like the incomplete Hudson Bergen Light Rail and Glassboro Camden lines. The simple fact is you can have a great plan, but if you're not funding it, you're not going to be able to complete it. And, and New Jersey Transit has close to a $6 billion unmet capital project budget just over the course of the next five years. Governor Murphy, who famously said he'd fix NJ Transit if it killed him, commented. It has the lowest um, cap, I guess, capital to operating transfer in like 15 years. We just got here three and a half years ago, and I, I think that we've made an enormous amount of progress. And by the way, no rate hike during our time. Uh, and I hope it stays that way. NJ Transit's also cutting a deal to receive up to $525 million a year in Turnpike Authority revenues in an effort to eliminate any transfer from Transit's capital budget. But why wait, Weinberg asks, when the state's flush with cash now? That has been wrong for years. Everybody from the administration to legislative leaders have railed against it, and yet we're still doing it in this year of all this money. So if somebody's got a defense for it, I'd love to hear it. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.